In this part of the lesson, we will make a second commit without having already pushed the first commit to GitHub. If you look at the workcycle diagram, this area here is actually oversimplified. Um, what I do is show that you make edits and then commit them and push them to directly to GitHub. Um, this actually is kind of an iterative process that could happen many times. Um, you don't have to push every commit to GitHub immediately. You can actually make several commits before you push them to GitHub. And there's sort of a um, philosophical reasons why you might want to do this. Um, you push things to GitHub basically when you want to make them available for other people to see. And you may have several stages in your revisions that you want to complete before you actually want to make them public or available to your other collaborators if you have any. Um, the idea of a commit is really each particular problem that you are trying to solve in the uh, management of your project should have a separate commit. So a commit is basically, should be thought of as a distinct stage or a distinct uh, problem that you are solving. And if you think about the purpose of commits, which is to uh, be a point in time that you can go back to, then you, you really want to mark each stage that you might want to move back and look at with a separate commit. So in this example, we will be making uh, a second commit, and then we'll push both commits up to GitHub at the same time. I think that I forgot to say that you should close the file. So let's go ahead and save that. That looks like pretty good instructions. So at this point, I think I'm ready to go ahead and commit this. So I'm going to um, add that for staging. But actually, I think there's some more things that I need to do in my Excel spreadsheet. This column wasn't actually supposed to be um, about numbers. It was supposed to be about animals. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now, if I click on here, I can see that I have some changes on the spreadsheet. So here it shows me, uh, not in table form, but it shows me that this third value on the first row was changed from one into dog and the, from four into cat, but the third row was not changed at all. So I'm going to go ahead and add this as a commit. Now I'm ready to go ahead and create a commit with both of those things. So if I look at the commit history, I can see that um, the first thing that I did was I added the spreadsheet and then I uh, modified the spreadsheet and added the instructions. And also you can see that it says here I have now two commits that need to be pushed up into the cloud.